Everyone get out, please. Stand by the van. Ignore her. It's the only one. No talking. You must concentrate on what I have to say. Where is that black girl? Like, I've got a name, yeah? It's Star. S-T-A-R-R. -R. Oh. My head's spinning. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. You didn't say you were ill. Flat shoes upset my sense of balance. The cabaret is over. You are here to work. And you will learn new skills which will be good for you in your life. The first will be how to spend a day without a mobile. No texting. You will obey my instructions. Any breaks will be authorized by me. You will not leave the site without my permission. Is all of this clear? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Yachovic would be adequate. OK, follow me. Watch this. So I was well impressed with your march, you know? Honest. We need to clear the rooms and mop out before we begin to decorate. Hey, I've just had a spa manicure. I wore heat admittance for an hour to get my hands like these. So you used to gloves. Put these on and get started with the job. Call this a new skill. Cleaning up after some dosa. Like a servant or something. Your mouth is too big for my liking. You three, help me unload the van. I think you've got beautiful lips. What? He's just trying to make you feel better. Aren't you, Billy? Yeah. Good morning, Cameron. Sorry, Mr. Tembay. I'm sorry I cannot stop. I have to rush for the bus. Cameron! Get in! Job. I should get in now! I told you, I don't want you talking to that woman. She's my friend. No, she isn't. Now eat. I hate this minging dump, I hate you. Never say you hate me. It's true. I do. Well, is that what you're going to tell the social worker? Do you want to be taken away? I'm sorry, mate. Look, I didn't mean to scare you. Dad? It's just that sometimes people aren't as kind as they seem to be. That two-faced... Mrs Tembe's reporting me to social services. They'll probably come knocking on the door any minute. That's why I don't want you to talk to her. Now do you see? Don't let them take me. They won't. As long as we stick together. We've got to show them that, that we're coping without your mum. That's why you must never say you hate me. I didn't mean it. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, come here. Now listen, I want you to go to the holiday club, yeah? And play nicely with the other kids. No scrapping, huh? Then will it be all right? Of course it will. Do you like cars? Only if they're fast and expensive. What's your favourite? I'd die for a silver Maserati. Got one? No. <laughs> I could nick one. Then we go out with it. Billy, if you took me out in a Maserati, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I was arrested at a demo for student tuition fees. I'm hoping to go to uni. It's just so scary. It's like you can't win. I mean, even if you get a good job after graduating, you've got to pay it all back. And if you don't, then you've still got to exist on next to nothing. I'm sure Daddy will cough up. He's only a copper. Hey! <laughs> Bet you're a bit of an embarrassment. Yeah. Hey, give her a break. Yeah. It's all right, Dan, I was shoplifting. Some of us were trying to scrape a living. Yeah, well, you must be here for a reason. That cow in a beauty salon shocked me. I was setting up on my own, you know, mobile, nails and facials. 
the benefit was just till I got going right. Anyway, one day I'll have my own salon. That will show her. Are you going to get financed with the criminal record? Did you see that star? No. My insteps are aching. They say flats are better for your feet, but I'm telling you, it's not true. Hey, this is not battling. And you're no red coat. Get up. All right, all right. I'm in pain, hey? Why do you keep picking on Star? I'm not picking on her. You're singling her out, why? She's not pulling her weight. I made it clear that any breaks should be authorised by me. What's the big deal? It's lunchtime anyway. It's what you came to tell us, right? Yeah, uh, you will wash up and proceed across the road to the community hall. You must learn to know your place. A place? What exactly do you mean by that? After you. You down. I'd rather not say too much. It might just be me, you know. You think Mr. Yakovich has got a problem with Star? No. What does a Maserati look like? Ash Yakovich. He's probably got one. Please. You, uh, here for the meeting, my friend? Yeah. Yeah, well, I was, I was thinking about it. Then allow me. Part of your finest, please, Margaret. Coming up. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. I'm, uh, Eric Bowman. Trevor Waterhouse. I, I just wondered what it was, um... I mean, I, I mean I'm not very well up on politics. <laughs> Are any of us? Who could tell the difference between a Conservative and a Liberal these days, eh? And as for the Labour Party... Well, uh, well, none of them care about ordinary folk like us, do they? Exactly. That's why we formed this group. So we can all say our piece. I'm guessing you've uh, one or two problems of your own, Trevor. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you, you could say that, yeah. Well, come to the right place. Come over and meet the others. Is that it, lads? Yeah, thanks, love. Cheers. To Cheers. be honest, we're also doing our bit to keep Margaret and Ken in business. The traditional working men's pub. Whoever thought we'd see him closing down? Look around, Trevor, and memorise. So you can give your grandkids an history lesson. Because the way things are going, they sure as eggs ain't ever going to see one. Did 
Didn't your mum do you any lunch? No. Want to share mine? In a minute. What is the matter? Nothing. So? Where do you park your Maserati? Who told you I had a Maserati? I don't want to nick it or nothing. Just look, yeah? Go and sit down, Billy. Dan! A word, please. I didn't say nothing wrong. It's all right, mate. I'll handle this. Every person around this table had a good try 12 months ago. And now, we're all out of work. Trevor? Yeah, yeah. yeah same here. I was a master butcher. My great-grandfather started the business way back in 1896, and it passed down through the generations till it closed under my helm. Can you imagine how that makes me feel? Shame doesn't come anywhere close. Yeah, but it's not your fault, though, is it, Eric? I mean, nobody can compete with the supermarkets. If only it were that simple. Would it surprise you to know that a halal butcher now resides in that very same shop? We'll talk about rubbing your nose in it. Yeah, exactly. And business is brisk. So, my question is, how come his customers can afford to buy meat on the high street and mine can't? Think about it. Ah, the fair, Margaret. <laughs> A few bacon butties to keep you going. Hey, I hope that's British bacon. Of course, <laughs> behave. Room for a small one? Yeah, yeah, of course. You look nice and settled there. Eh? Yeah, he's one of us, aren't you, Trevor? <laughs> Look, it was just a gag. What's the big deal? So why is it so funny for me to drive a rich man's car? OK, so it's not funny. Sorry to offend you. I don't think you intended that as a joke. I really wish we could hear what they were saying. Dan's so cute. Reckon I've got a chance. You said you'd marry me. Like, in your dreams? Will you just go out with her? No, back off. But I like black girls. Why? Because they're supposed to be, you know... Good in bed. My mate Andy said. Billy! Did he? Well, I've got standards and you need to exfoliate urgently, pizza cheeks. You're making trouble for me. Why? You're sounding really paranoid now. So I'm not good enough to drive a Maserati? I think you're capable of pretty much anything. What do you mean? You've got something to hide, haven't you? Such as? Oh, I don't know. Maybe your back pocket's stuffed with cash. Not denying it, then. I'm not required to justify myself to a criminal. I am your supervisor, and you will treat me with respect. Like you deserve it. You are going to be a good boy now, and do as you're told, or you will be the one in trouble. Do you understand? Am I making myself clear? Are you mad with me? Mate, you uncovered a major fraud. You did good. Eh? Look, he's obviously a property developer. So? So someone from the council is giving him a backhander. Imogen's right. We're slogging our guts out for nothing while he's making a mint. Like, what are we supposed to do about it? You and me could take a walk. Chill, yeah? Star, this is important. Well, it's way too intense for me. Intense? Aren't you even bothered by the way he's been speaking to you? Story of my life. Sexy, talented. Misunderstood. Yeah, well, maybe he'd be more tolerant if you were white and middle class. Hey, I've got my own business. Have I got to spell it out to you? I'm black. Right? Look, no offence, but he's mentioned your big mouth, knowing your place. Yeah, and this morning, when you were stuck on the van, he said, where's that black girl? Well remembered. He hates you. What's so funny? Whoa! Come on, mate, you and me need to have a conversation. Look, take no notice of Billy. He's just mad because you put him down. I'm not having no odd job talking down to me. Stuck! Come on, you saw how he was with Dan. You just get into more trouble. It's not worth it. Like you said, you're better than him. I haven't seen Ken today, Margaret. I was lying down. Bad day. He's had quite a few of those recently. You know, it's 
to cry in shame. This pub is part of our heritage. 20 years ago, it was bursting at the seams. Neighbours getting together, home from home. Now? Well, you can say for yourself. The smoking ban. It's not just that, Trevor. This was a community pub, and the community's changed. Me and Ken didn't have a problem with that. Live and let live. One night, these Asian lads walked in. We knew they were after trouble right from the word go. Loudmouth they were, spoiling for a fight. So we asked them to leave, like we would anyone else. Next thing you know, we're all over the local paper. Oh, hey, 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 it's all right, love. You're with friends. They called us racist. That's terrible. And we're not. A troublemaker's a troublemaker, whether it's black, white... It's pink. Yeah. Since then, the business has gone right down the Swanee. Can't win, can we, us Brits? I don't consider myself a racist either, but it doesn't stop me worrying about where our nation's going to end up. Yeah, me too. That's right. Mm. So, we dip the brush halfway and then we stroke it against the rim to remove the excess. Now, always strike the brush away from the wet edge. Then you have a smoother line. You know you really should make a complaint. To who? How do we know we can trust? You can see why people get so wound up with immigrants. No offence, Star. Hey, I'm British, born and bred, same as you are. You don't count because you're black. Oh, what did you say? Hey, don't take this out on Billy. See? No blobs or splashes. Anybody want to take it? What's going on here? Did I hear you say you wanted to volunteer? Yeah, go on. What's he doing? Hey, hey, do you realize what you've done? Oh, hey, yeah. hey, hey, <laughs> hey, stop it! Dan, this is not the way. We gotta go. Come on, Billy. What? Are you coming? I am. I didn't ask you. Yeah? Well, you've just blown your chances, Minga. Why are you running away? You're either with us or you're not. Make a choice. Where are we going? You'll see. Dan! You must come inside. I have telephoned the police. Good, because I'm going to tell them about you and your dodgy property deals. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dan slashed you, didn't he? You're taking a backhander. Read this. Why is Dan mixed up with the nationalists? Because he's one that doesn't take a genius. He's taken Billy to this meeting. It's not my problem. Imogen! Imogen! Say, Trevor, what brings you here? Only if you want to, love. No pressure. Well, uh, you shared your stories with me. It's only fair. Life couldn't be much worse, to be honest. My wife walked out on me and Cameron. That's my son. He's only ten. What kind of a woman leaves a child? That's not natural. You're yeah, telling me. The boyfriend is more important. Been carrying on behind me back for months. Trevor, that's terrible. Absolutely unforgivable. So here I am. Living in a poxy rented house. Trying to hold it together for me kid. And then what happens? I get laid off. A final slap in the face. I wish it was, Eric. But it gets worse. I was offered a couple of hours' work. And OK, I, I shouldn't have left Cameron on his own, but, but what choice did I have? Desperate measures. And to make matters worse, the woman next door reports me to social services. I mean, talk about troublemakers. And this one happens to be from Africa. I bet she's got a job. Yeah. Yeah, she's a doctor's receptionist. You see? We hear this time and time again. Plenty of our ladies could do that job, and yet they give it to a foreigner. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my son, Dan, by the way. This is Billy. Welcome, Billy. That butty's got your name on it. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Dan represents the younger, more proactive faction of our group. He was arrested for public disturbance. 
I prefer to call it standing up for the rights of the ordinary working man. I'd like to shake your hand, mate. Sure. What is your trade? I was a plasterer. Tommy boss said he couldn't afford to pay me the going rate. And what's the bet he got cheaper labour and they weren't British? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've just had a poll telling me how to slap paint on a wall. An immigrant employed by the government to keep the likes of me, a British man, in check. It's outrageous. <laughs> and guess what? He was rubbish. The place was in chaos, wasn't it, Billy? Yeah. And why? Because a black woman challenged his authority. See, this is why this country's going down the nick. All these races and are fighting each other. Yeah. I've watched my father weep with humiliation. How must that be for a man knowing he can't provide for his child? How desperate, how helpless must he feel? And I'm proud of my dad. Good for you, love. He's had our family business swept from under his feet. Your inheritance, son. By people who don't belong here. My parents raised me Christian. Christian isn't a dirty word. I don't want to see harm come to anybody. But I say each to their own. Let them go back to their own countries yeah. and leave us in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our generation's going to be the one to turn things around. We're not ashamed anymore. We're angry. In fact, we're furious. Yes! Come on in, love. Don't be shy. Hey, Imogen. We're turning things around. Me and him. I want to speak to you. In a private. Oops. What have you been up to? Won't be long. <laughs> Dan's got so many girlfriends, I've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> what you said in there was complete crap. It's the truth. You think you're so smart, don't you? Well, from where I'm standing, you're a complete mess-up. You've got a criminal record. So have you. But at least mine isn't from stealing mascara from boots. <sighs> You are such a hypocrite. No, that's one thing I'm not. I'm willing to stand up and be counted, no matter what it takes. You lied to us. And you manipulated Star. Open your eyes, Imogen. We're letting these people walk all over us. It's political correctness gone mad. Look, this is something I really believe in. What do you believe? What gets you out of bed in the morning? What stirs your soul? I believe that all people are equal. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Hey, I'm not, all right? I'm not. Look. I really like you, you know. Thought you and me could. I'd rather die. You know what, babe? You're the loser. No, uh, I've got principles. And they're a million miles away from yours. Yeah, well, much good they'll do you. Margaret says, do you want apple pie? Come on, Billy. Let's go back to the house. I'll try and square things up with Mr Yakovich. No. You stand with me, ain't you, mate? You're just using him. He's not clever enough to understand. And I thought you said everyone was equal. Come on, mate. Let's get a slice of that pot. People try to put us down. Oh, yeah? Hey, you could have brought a mate home for tea. We've got plenty here. We've cleaned the kitchen. Oh, the house as well. Nothing to be ashamed of now, eh? Come on, get your chops around this. A great British banger. You can't beat it. I'm not really hungry. Are you still worrying about the social worker? It's going to be all right. I made one mistake and I won't do it again. That's all I need to tell him. Are you sure? Oh, trust me. I'm your dad. Now, come on. It's getting cold. <laughs> Can you smell beer? <sighs> no, just mint. They'll look happy, yeah? That interfering cow! Who's that? Go next door. There's no way I'm letting no foreigner organise me. Just ten maids and a foreigner. Of course she is. Listen, son. There are things you don't understand yet, but this is our country. And from now on, we're going to fight for the things that matter to us. Yeah? Mr Yakovich. How did your meeting go? I didn't go to the meeting. I went to sort things out. 
Dad was saying some terrible things about you. You think he's the first? I have been in this country for seven years, and still I am abused. Yet I struggle to find work like any other man. And I pay my taxes. Well, you shouldn't be apathetic. You should do something. People like Dan are dangerous. You walked off the job. What? This constitutes a breach. I have reported you. That's not fair. I came back, didn't I? You broke the rules. Well, what's going to happen to me? Well, that's for the probation officer to decide. My only choice is to do the job I'm paid for. Sometimes life must teach us a hard lesson, Imogen. Family therapy tonight. Don't forget. I'll be there as soon as I can. I think that we should cancel therapy later. Oh, not you as well. If Dad has forgiven me, then why do we have to keep going over it? Oh, no, no. No, this is family therapy. We couldn't possibly start the healing process until we're all here. Isn't that right? So I suggest we just sit and wait for him. I just don't see why I should sit here and talk when he's going to sit there and say nothing.